Hey everyone, welcome back to The Builders Breaking It Down. Today we're embarking on a journey into the digital clouds. We're going to unravel the story of a company that turned its challenges into opportunities and in doing so, transformed the way we think about internet services. Buckle up because we're diving into the rise of Amazon Web Services or as you might know it, AWS. Imagine this. The year is 2000. Now, Amazon is primarily an e-commerce company facing scale problems. These challenges prompt them to develop solid internal systems to keep up with their rapid growth. At the same time, they're looking to launch an e-commerce service, Merchant.com, to help other companies build online shopping sites using Amazon's e-commerce engine. But they hit a snag. Their development environment was a tangled mess. Now, as a web developer myself, I've seen a lot of tangled messes. That's never a good thing. <laughs> so it was really making it difficult to separate various services for third-party use. So they started to clean house. They developed some well-documented APIs, and voila, the first seeds of AWS are sown. As Amazon continues to grow, they're hiring new software engineers, but they're not building applications any faster. The reason? Each project requires its own set of resources with no thought to scale or reuse. That's when Amazon realizes they need a common infrastructure that everyone can access without reinventing the wheel each time. And thus, the idea for AWS starts to take shape. Fast forward to 2003 at an executive retreat. Amazon's top brass are discussing the company's core competencies. They know they're good at selling a wide array of products and fulfilling orders. But then they have an epiphany. Actually, they're also quite good at running infrastructure services like compute, storage, and database. They've become experts at running reliable, scalable, cost-effective data centers. And that's when they start to think, hey, we could have a whole new business providing infrastructure services to developers. So, hey, let's build the future. From that point on, Amazon begins to view this set of services as an operating system for the internet and thus begins the journey of AWS. In 2006, AWS launches Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Becoming <laughs> the first to market with a modern cloud infrastructure service. The idea takes some time to catch on, but once it does, AWS becomes a highly lucrative business, controlling more market share than its three closest competitors combined. And right now, today, AWS is a dominant player in the cloud computing industry, and I'm willing to bet that many of you listening to this video have probably heard of them. It's now contributing significantly to Amazon's revenue. So here's the fun part. What are the lessons? What's the takeaway from AWS's story? And here's what it boils down to. It's all about leveraging your strengths and turning challenges into opportunities. Amazon turned its internal infrastructure problems into a powerhouse cloud service. Now, just like many of us in business, they saw a need. They saw a need. And their need, or what they saw as a need, was a shared scalable infrastructure, not just within their company, but for the whole digital landscape. And they didn't just stop at recognizing the need. And here's the thing, you can recognize the need and then do nothing. But what they did is they created a solution. Remember, in the world of business, it's not just about identifying the opportunities. It's about having the courage to act on them, to innovate and to reshape the future. And that, my friends, is what AWS did and continues to do today. And with that, that's a wrap. Stay tuned for more exciting stories from the world of business here at The Builders Breaking It Down. See you next time.